welcome back to my weekly rant where we talk about what's hot, what's not, and everything in between. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. I just really want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. Um, and I really hope that the content that I provide here is helpful and beneficial because that really is my main objective. And trust me, there is more great content to come. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. Make sure you like, share, all that good stuff. And keep the comments coming. I'm getting some really great ideas for um, new videos and more contents from your comments. So keep those coming. Um, on Sunday, I'm going to go live and do a live Q&A at 3 p.m. So check that out. I get a lot of questions in my comment section. So I'm just going to go live and just answer questions probably for about... I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, depending um, how many questions I get. So check that out Sunday at 3 p.m. I don't have the option yet to like post here on um, YouTube. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I post there daily. Um, and I'll post a reminder about me going live on Sunday at 3 p.m. So check that out. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video today, I'm talking about why I joined a gifting circle or what some people call a susu. Um, I know right now a, a, a lot of people, um, the information is circulating, right? Uh, you've probably already heard about it. Somebody's probably already contacted you about it. So I just want to talk to you guys about my experience, um, why I signed up, how it's going for me. and just give you a little bit more information, okay? So first of all, I want to say that I think everybody should sign up, okay? That, I'll start with that, okay? I think everybody should sign up. I think everybody should be in a gifting circle because it is so beneficial. And it's really all about friends and family helping each other, coming together collectively to build um, wealth amongst ourselves. It's kind of like creating your own bank. You know, um, not too long ago, I was watching a video and the, the man's name escapes me at the moment, but he was talking about how important it is to be your own bank. And I listened to him and I said, yeah, he has a great point, you know, but how can you be your own bank without resources, without money? You know what I mean? Um, so he talks about, of course, creating different streams of income so you can be your own bank. You know what I mean? So um, just information that I've been absorbing and um before i tell you guys why i joined and what i think about it and all that great stuff i want to say most of you all know that i am the owner of d signs which is a mobile notary loan signing business and it's doing extremely well it is the reason that i've had the resources the financial resources to do things that i really wasn't able to do prior to me starting this business it has opened up another source of income for me, a very lucrative source of income for me, where I have been able to have money at my disposal to, you know, invest in things that I wasn't able to invest in previously or join a gifting circle because I just have more disposable income. So I'm just very grateful for that, number one. And number two, because it's something I've always prayed for. I've been praying for more economic resources because I, there are so many things that I want to, you know, dip my hand into. But at the end of the day, you know, you need money to do that, right? So I'm um, just thankful for that. Um, so to get to my point, I joined the SUSU or gifting circle, whatever you want to call it. And I want to say, first of all, I think everybody should be in one. Number one, number two, however, I think that you should only be in groups with people you know personally and that you trust. And I'm going to say that again. I think you should only join gifting circles with people you know personally and that you trust. Okay, because since I've been sharing this information with other people, some of the reactions I get have not been positive. And that's because maybe they've had <clears throat> bad experiences Um and again, if you've had a bad experience, more than likely, it's been with people that are untrustworthy because the system in itself amongst family and friends who know and trust each other works extremely well, extremely well. So I'm going to actually link a video, which some of you have may have seen or have not seen, but it explains how the gifting circle or the susu works. I highly suggest that you watch the video. Um, 
And if you have questions after watching the video, you can um, contact me. I'm open to answer questions um, if you have them. Um, I do want to say I have a very solid group of my immediate family and some really close friends of mine. And I'm not doing this video really to solicit people because we only want people in our group that we know and trust. So if I know you or if I've already built some type of rapport with you and you're interested um, in joining my group, definitely reach out to me and contact me. But we really wanted to keep it to people we know that we know and trust and are going to be committed to it because really that's the only way it works, okay? So basically the concept is you come in with $500 and you bring in two people that you know, okay? <clears throat> Every four weeks, you'll be gifted $4,000, okay? Of that $4,000, you put $1,000 back um, into another member so then they could be gifted. So the concept is, and you keep going around and around and around. So once you first come in with your $500 and bring two people behind you, that's it. You never have to do that again. Every four weeks, once you complete that, you're done. You're, you're accumulating $4,000 of income every four weeks just by putting in $500 and bringing two people with you. It really is that simple. However, it's that simple when you have a core group who are committed to the process. Okay, if you don't have a core group that's committed to the process, that's how it can fall apart. Okay, so it's really that simple. I've I joined the group on Friday, this past Friday. Today is Thursday. I've already been gifted two thousand dollars, you guys, and that is because my group is growing so fast. When I came in, I brought I tried to bring all of my family in with me, but of course, some of them were like, eh, no, thank you, but. There was six of my family members that said, yeah, great, let's do it. We've been we've been wrecking our brains for years trying to find out a way how we can pull our money together and help each other. So when I brought this, at least six of them said yes. And so by me bringing six people in in one day, I had already had gifts coming in, like I said, of $2,000. And I haven't even got to the point where, yet where I'll be gifted my $4,000, which that is coming because our group is growing. And I want to say a few things about this. So some of the reactions I've been getting is like, yeah, I want to join, but it's hard to bring in two people. I think that that's most people's response there. They think it's hard. But at first I thought it was hard too. And then these last couple of days, I changed my mindset about that. I said, really, it isn't. It, it, it is, but it isn't. Because I changed my mindset on it and I decided, you know what, I'm only going to focus on people who are just open to it and not like want to focus on the fact that that part is hard. Because I think if you focus on that part being hard, then it's going to be hard. And that because that's where you're putting your energy, if that makes sense. Once I released that and let go of that and I just started freely just sharing the information with people, it, it became easier and I started connecting more with people who already heard about it, were interested about it anyway, and was just looking for a solid group. And it's been easy at that at that point. And I also want to say that I'm done. I already brought my two people in the first day. So really, I don't ever want people to think I'm trying to force them into something that's going to help me because I don't... It doesn't matter for me at this point. I'm so, going to... In conclusion... I was just saying that pretty much I'm done. I brought my two people in. I'm done in the sense that no matter what, I'm going to be getting my gifts every four weeks. However, I'm continuing to share the information because I want to be able to help someone else. Um, my group collectively, we're committing to helping each other. So, you know, bringing other people in, even though I'm done, quote unquote, or anybody that's done, bringing their two people in, guess what? <clears throat> we're still sharing the information with other people um, because it will help them and it'll help our group as a collective. So, you know, the main objective is helping each other. That's why one of the names for the group is friends helping friends or however you want to call it. So you guys, that's my conclusion. Um, oh, I want to say this also, um, cause I think I touched on this at the beginning, but didn't really expand on it. The main reason why I joined because I said, yes, I was looking for an opportunity to come together with other people to work collectively to build resources. How, but however, one of my best friends brought the opportunity to me that I've known for probably 20 years now. 
and I love and trust her with everything I have. So I knew if she's bringing this to me, then she's bringing me something solid. So again, that trust aspect is really important. Um, so it didn't even really take any convincing for me. She told me about it and I just said, yeah, sign me up. That was it. It was just that simple. So that was the why, that was one of the reasons why. And um, yeah, so sharing it with you guys. Um, again, like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments and um, stay tuned for more content coming. And if you're interested, and I know you personally, you can contact me to um, get started. Check out the video um, below. It'll explain how the SUSU works. Um, also read the article. Let me know if you have any questions. And you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace.